All right, let's talk about the cherry barb for a few minutes. Uh, man, what an underrated fish. This fish is cheap. It's found in every pet store, everywhere you go. It's extremely colorful, and it really doesn't mess with other fish all that much. It is, and it's literally like the perfect small planted aquarium fish. I mean, they, they foot the bill perfectly. I, I I haven't kept them as often because I just assumed they were a barb and like most barbs they're nippy. These guys aren't. They're totally chill and extremely colorful. They, they, I cannot recommend keeping this fish more. Let's take a few minutes and talk about color before we get into all the other parameters of this fish. In this video you'll notice that you know, I keep saying these guys are extremely colorful, but yet they look a little washed out. They're not a super bright red. This fish does appreciate a little dimmer light. They don't really care for super bright lights. Uh, if you do your research in the wild, even though you're, you're not dealing with wild caught fish, um, in the wild they came, come from shady areas. And in the tank that I keep mine in, um, it is shaded. But to get really decent, halfway decent video with the camera I've got, I had to put a brighter light on it and they really didn't like it. So the ones in this video are, they're not a super bright red. That's only because I kind of stressed them out by putting that bright light on them. Uh, you put them in just a, a planted tank that's got, you know, a little bit of, uh, plant growth over the light and man these things will be the brightest red you ever saw uh, if you saw the thumbnail for the video you can see that yeah they're they're pretty bright red all right let's talk about more of the scientific kind of stuff for this fish its parameters and such um, this fish has been in the hobby for so long and it's it's a pretty common mainstay in your local fish shop that if you just Google cherry barb, this fish is going to come up. There's not really too many other fish that fit that name. So there's not a whole lot of confusion in its common name. But if you want to get technical and you want to Google it by its scientific name, it is Puntuus tatia, and they come from Sri Lanka. We as fish keepers try to mimic uh, what a fish comes from in the wild as far as how you keep them and at what parameters. This fish, however, if, if you bought one from the local fish shop, it did not come from the wild. I looked them up on the ICUN red list and it, it came back unevaluated, but yet Wikipedia has them listed as uh, CD, uh, conservation dependent meaning that yeah they're going to need some con uh, conservation to, to keep their numbers up. Uh, Sri Lanka is an island country so any fish that comes from an island is always vulnerable if conditions change. During my research I came across articles that said in the past this fish was over exported, overfished in the wild for the aquarium trade and an export ban was placed on this fish. So now any, any fish you're getting uh, is gonna come from a captive breeding facility of some kind. And what that means to us though is, number one, captive bred fish are often a lot more forgiving in aquarium conditions than a wild fish is. Uh, sometimes they tend to breed easier in our captive fish tanks and they're just overall most often more forgiving. Also, these these facilities that are breeding this fish, you know, they, they want to be the best ones. So some of these places they're breeding for color and you're seeing more uh, longer fin varieties available and some of these I have seen coming from places that are so bright red you can't even see the black stripe that the fish has. So it's kind of cool, but at least you know you're not getting a fish out of the wild. As far as temperature goes, 
I man, this fish really isn't picky. Uh, I'd say low 70s to mid 80s. You might even be able to go beyond that. This fish really isn't picky. Water hardness, again, not very picky. They probably breed better at more of a neutral pH, somewhere around in there, but anything from moderately soft to hard, this fish is fine. They're not picky at all. When it comes to tank mates and temperament and how you should keep this fish, a lot of the articles I read on this fish say, you know, you got to keep them in a school of five or more. If you want the fish to show its best, have some females in there as well, which the females don't uh, show as much color. I'll show one here in a minute. But I, I wanted to give what my experience is on this fish, and it's a little different, it seems, than some of the articles I read. Uh, in, in my tank, it's a 37 gallon tank, which is a, a same footprint as a 20 long, but it's really tall. It's, it's, almost, it's almost two 20 longs stacked on top of each other, is, is the way to kind of think of the tank. And I find them not to be really tight schooling. They kind of stay inside of each other. I have like six males and two females. And they definitely interact with each other, but they don't really school all that much. Now, maybe if I had them in a four foot long tank or a six foot long tank, maybe they would uh, school a little tighter, but they kind of spread out. They don't, I, I don't find them to be very tightly schooling fish. How they interact with each other also is a little different, at least in my experience keeping this fish. A lot of the articles I read stated that uh, you got to keep them in groups or else they're going to get nippy with each other. And I got to be honest, besides the occasional maybe one male chasing another male, uh, I really don't see that. Uh, they, they, they're really chill, in my experience. Um, I do have females in the tank, and every once in a while you'll see a male going up and displaying and showing his fins off. But for the most part, you know, you might get the occasional, hey, they're going to chase each other around for a second or two, and then they just go about their business. All right, when it comes to sexual dimorphism, yes, the females do look different than the males, but in color, pretty much only. Uh, the females do not show that bright red color. Other than that, they pretty much look the same. They, their black lateral stripe uh, is definitely a lot more pronounced, and uh, they're definitely much more robust, you know, in the stomach area. They're rounder. Uh, thicker in body. Uh, other than that, they're about the same. Um, temperament wise, they're definitely the same. It is kind of strange though, my females kind of tend to hang out with my rasboras, where the males kind of hang out more towards the bottom of the, the tank. You know, they don't hang out right in the substrate, but they kind of keep in the lower part more of where the where I've got wood decorations and stuff, and the females tend to stay upper, more into open water. I don't know if that's just in my case, or it's just a thing they do. I don't know. Alright, well anyways, now that I bored most of you to death, um, if you have any other specific questions uh, about something maybe I forgot, which I tend to forget things sometimes in these videos, if you have a specific question, feel free, put it in the comments. I will answer it. I will see it. Um, and then I'll keep it in mind for any future videos. I do want to do a video of the spawning these guys, but uh, right now, given my tank space available, uh, that's going to be put on the back burner for a little bit. Uh, just a quick recap on this fish. All right. It... The ones you're going to have in your fish tank do not come from the wild. They come from a captive breeding facility, so this fish is very forgiving. Anything within what we consider normal tank parameters, this fish is going to do great. Uh, keep more than one. Uh, 
they'd probably be a little happier. Definitely one specific thing. If you really, really, truly want this fish to show its best color, do not put it in bright lights. Give it some cover, give it some shade, and it'll really brighten up. Um, other than that, I, I don't know what else to say on this fish. So, uh, except for the fact that I definitely recommend them. If you have a small planted tank with peaceful fish and you, you want something to contrast against those green plants, man, this fish really pops. That red will show across the room. So, other than that, everybody take care. And, uh, yeah, get this fish. It's cool. Later.